If you're searching for Ultimate Team Coins, head over to ifootcoins.com, hit up the link in the description below, and use my discount code GUNA for 6% off. What's up guys, Guinness here bringing you another Inform player review, and today we are reviewing Inform Elia, the Dutch winger who's just moved to Southampton in the BPL. So there's the squad that I played him in, I've got him as a left forward in a 4-3-2-1 formation, and remember guys, 200 likes would be amazing, make sure you follow me on Twitter as well. So let's have a closer look at him and what you'll see is, is that he's 5 foot 9, medium attacking, low defensive work rates, right footed, freestyle weak foot and 4 star skill moves as well. I've added the finisher chemistry style to him to boost his shooting and his physical. 79k is what he cost, 10 games, 8 goals and 1 assist isn't a bad return. Comparing him to his regular card you'll see, pace and defending both gone up by 1, passing and physical by 3 and dribbling as well and shooting seen the biggest increase going up by 7 overall. And boy, does he need it. You can see there, 65 strength isn't bad. 93 acceleration, 92 sprint speed are the standouts. This guy is super quick, lightning fast. You ain't going to catch him. 89 dribbling as well is pretty decent as a standout. But you'll see the finishing is disappointing. You know, his finishing just isn't his strongest point, however, which is a shame for someone so quick. And, you know, we're going to want to put him as far out of the pitch as possible. You can see he can play on both sides, you know, as right mid or left mid, left wing. You can see the traits as well, speedster, dribbler, and he's also got flair as well, so it's pretty decent. So what are my expectations of this card? Well, to be fair, I didn't really use his card when he was in the Bundesliga, his original card, before he got the transfer across. However, you know, I always was aware that this guy was a pure pace merchant. There's only one reason you're going to buy this guy, and that is purely for pace abuse. There is no other reason for it, because, I mean, you've got better technical players that play on the left-hand side. I mean, he can go for Hazard if you got the coins. Much better option in terms of what he gives you in terms of an all-round player as well. However, if you want the quickest option on the left-hand side, then this is going to be your guy because there is no one as quick as this guy. And he's also got four-star skills as well, and he's got decent dribbling. So he's going to be a handy player to use out there. He's not just all pace and no other end product. However, you know, you've got to be careful with how you shoot with him because his shooting isn't the greatest. He's had a massive increase going up by seven points overall. And even then, his shooting is still average at best, which is a little disappointing. However, you've just got to make sure that you're taking those high percentage shots with him and then he won't have a problem. You know the ones where you score nine times out of ten? Just don't risk it trying to go for long shots or spectacular goals with him in terms of the shooting because he just doesn't have the shooting ability. The medium attack on record is a bit of a pain. Sometimes it's not as far at the pitch as you'd want, especially with someone like this. You'd prefer him to be on the last man. However, still a decent card. I'm sure his price will drop and hopefully if he gets to around 40k, I'd say go pick him up. So let's review what I thought about him. This guy is lightning quick, super, super fast. It's amazing when you've got both the acceleration and the sprint speed both in the 90s. He's the fastest left-sided BPL option right there. So if you love your pace, this is going to be your guy. Four-star skills as well to throw into the mix as well. Awesome dribbler, fantastic dribbling as well. For me, a bit of a pain in terms of his medium attacking work. I meant he was a little bit deeper when I wanted to be further up the pitch, especially to utilize that pace. And also his finishing was average at best. You have to make sure you're using those high percentage shots to make sure you score with him because you ain't going to score from far out with this guy. But overall, a decent card. You know, his price should be dropping as well. I'll give him an 8.5 out of 10. Hopefully you enjoyed this review, guys. If you did, leave a like below, comment, subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.